What even is this mech looking keyboard claw? Well, it's pretty great, whatever it is. So let me tell you all about it. Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today I'm going to tell you about my experience with the Azeron keypad, a custom 3D printed claw keypad that I've been using to largely replace my keyboard whilst animating. Usually when animating, I'd put my keyboard next to my graphics tablet and use my right hand to do all the shortcuts and layer names and things like that. As you can imagine, it wasn't really ideal. It slowed me down quite a bit and my keyboard was so bloody huge it would hang off the edge of the desk. There's plenty of keypads out there and they'd all work fine for most people, but unfortunately I'm left-handed freak, so nobody really makes left-handed keypads. And then I stumbled across Azeron and honestly, my prayers have been answered. Now, obviously this keyboard is designed first for gaming, but I figured it would be perfect as a keyboard replacement for animating. So I reached out and Azeron kindly sent me a free unit in exchange for an honest review. And honestly, I was pretty hesitant at first uh, due to its 3D printed nature, but I've been really, really pleasantly surprised. First off, the Azeron can be completely customized, as you can tell from my branded Tip Tut version. Uh, there's a huge range of colors and you can choose between two different models. There's the classic model with these two towers on the top here and the compact model which just chops off those two and has buttons on top of each of these fingers instead. So that's 26 customizable keys with the classic model and 24 with the compact model. There's also two palm rest options depending on your preferred grip. There's this curved flatter one here and there's an arched one as well. I thought I'd prefer the arched one but turns out I prefer the flatter one which is great because they sent me both. Each finger bar is completely adjustable for length using these screws along the bottom of the keypad as well. And of course there's left and right handed options so all of these elements combine for the perfect fit. Secondly, the build quality. I will say that this definitely looks 3D printed with the buttons and finger structures having that telltale 3D printed texture. But what I expected to be delicate is actually very sturdy. There's really no wiggle in any of the buttons or any of the joysticks, no bending or sliding in the finger bars. This is probably due to the myriad of screws holding the thing together. But as long as you don't mind that kind of 3D texture, the Azeron both looks and feels quite premium. All of the keys are satisfyingly clicky and feel more like a mouse click than a mechanical keyboard click. I think this is because they're actually using a similar mouse uh, switch behind the keys, which I assume is to keep them as low profile as possible. Let's listen to how they sound. Thirdly is the software. It's pretty basic in its functionality, but I think that's because it's designed to do just the one thing, program the keys. There's no flashy RGBs except for a single button that switches between two preset profiles that you can make, but you can do everything that you'd want to uh, in a software designed to set key bindings. Um, you can do macros, you can do joysticks, you can do mouse clicks, whatever you like. I've been using it in my Adobe Animate workflow, using it to set all my tools, uh, navigation and other macros like saving and things like that, meaning I only have to use the keyboard to type a layer name or a symbol name. So what I can do now is tuck the keyboard neatly away under my tablet, meaning I don't have to move my right hand at all until I need to name something every now and then, which is obviously great for RSI, things like that, which I do struggle with, hence these uh, compression gloves. Now, the biggest thing I've noticed about the Azeron is the learning curve. Obviously, I've been using a keyboard basically my whole life and learning the muscle memory took some time to get used to. But once I did, I found the Azeron to be much more preferable to the keyboard for all of my shortcut keys. Um, I found myself setting um, tool sets per finger, which seemed to work for me, with all of the art tools on the index finger buttons, the control tools on my middle finger, the modifiers like control, alt, shift, etc. on the ring finger, and keyframe control on the pinky. So we have new keyframe, new blank keyframe, new frame, and delete. Timeline navigation was on the joystick, which feels very lovely by the way, and nudging content on this little directional nub above the joystick. 
Um, usually I pan the stage with my thumb on the spacebar. So setting that to be the thumb on the Azeron seemed to be the right choice. It made sense to me. Honestly, it's been working really well. And the fact that I don't have to move my arm at all now to do pretty much every single function in Adobe Anime is fantastic to me. I'm not sure how it will stand up over several years of use because it is 3D printed, but at the same time, because it is 3D printed, you can easily order replacement parts or even print your own if you have a 3D printer, which is pretty cool. Some of the modifications I've seen on the Azeron Discord have been awesome. People have added rollerballs, some old mice on there, everything, it's crazy. It costs around 165 euros, which might seem a bit expensive, but it's definitely a niche product that to my mind at least would be worth the price point. If only because there are so few quality left-handed keyboard options available on the market. Scarcity shouldn't really be a decision factor, but Azeron have really cornered the market in this niche product, so well done them. Overall, I can definitely recommend the Azeron keypad. And as a startup company in Latvia, you'd be supporting small businesses, which is always a good thing. So if you fancy it, you can check out the Azeron at the link in the description. I don't get any commission or anything like that. I haven't been paid for this review other than being provided with the product. Uh, and all of the opinions I've stated have been my honest experience with them. If you've got an Azeron, let me know what your experience is in the comments down below. And if you do uh, decide to pick one up, let me know why as well. Uh, hopefully we can collaborate more with Azeron in the future because my experience with them has been lovely. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I do hope you've enjoyed this review and I'll see you next time on Tip Tap. You're gonna be part of the review? Part of the review, Tipped Off? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of the keypad? Do you like it? Do you like the Azeron keypad? Is it worthy of a lick? Worthy of a lick. But not quite edible, hey eh, baby? Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.